Hey guys, welcome to another adventure in Zebraland. Um, I got a cool little trick for you this week. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the XMF filter, and that is the cross modulation filter. We can find it in the list right here. And the difference between the normal filter and this cross modulation filter is, um, well, a lot of stuff, but one important thing when I open the normal filter, I can see just one line here, one cable, you could call it, feeding through the filter and going through the output. Um, that is all cool, but if we open the cross modulation filter, we can see two cables. And that means that this oscillator is not only feeding its signal through the cross modulation filter, but it's also um, using its signal to a sidechain one knob of the cross modulation filter, and that is this one. Um, that means the audio of this filter is going to um, control the the amount and speed of the filter uh, frequency modulation. And that may sound a little bit fake, so what I'll do is I'll open a second oscillator and I'll mute this lane, so we're not hearing that oscillator. I can prove that to you. It's now playing, I'm not hearing it. And then I can right click here and I can say only cross modulation filter and I can say sidechain 2. So now the signal of oscillator 1 is going through the filter, that is the stuff that we hear. Just normal, but um, the filter frequency gets modulated by this oscillator. Um, if we tune down oscillator 1 a little bit, we can hear that if we change the frequency of uh, oscillator 2, we hear the sound change. If I drag this down a bit. And that sounds like a typical uh, uh, cutoff modulation, uh, typical FM modulation also. And we can do a, a lot of cool stuff with that. We can experiment here with some different uh, filter combinations. We can choose a low pass in the upper slot and um, here we can choose an L pass maybe. And now we can try the overload and this really distorts the distorts the filter. And now we can modulate the offset a little bit. Um, with an LFO for example. Maybe even faster. And this it, it really gives a, a quite a beefy sound. It sounds it sounds high quality and, and uh, analog. And I don't know exactly why, but always when I use this function, it, it makes the sound uh, fatter and just more ready for the world. And now we can do our, um, our standard tricks like uh, modulating the tuning with an LFO. We can set the LFO to user. We can set the LFO to gate and we can set it to 8 steps and we can set the speed to 116 and then we can make a little melody and we can exper experiment with the tuning of the oscillator 2 but we can also experiment with the wave of oscillator 2 Maybe even try to insert some effects in oscillator 2. And then we can do a little bit of modulation on the cutoff with uh, LFO 4. We also set it to user and we also set it to gate. Um, 1 8 is fine, I think. 
and then we can yeah this is fine set it to eight steps <laughs> And now we can try different modes and, and check out what they sound like. Oh, I like this one. And we can try a parallel. Yeah, I like that. Um, now one other thing we can do is we can modulate the resonance and we have to do that in the mod matrix and we can use a global LFO because we're running out of LFOs here and then we can say cross modulation resonance we give it some fair amount, we have to be a little bit careful with this we can set this to user as well and we can sync it each bar and that's the, um, that's the main advantage of the um, global LFOs that you can set them to sync to crazy values like 16 bars and we set it to 116 and we can set it to lines maybe and then we can just we don't have these steps but we have these it's a little bit more flexible <laughs> It's not making a difference in this mode. So let's choose an uh, Lopez here as well. And maybe we set this two steps after all. can even modulate this with um, the same LFO. To get a nice stereo effect. Oh, that sounds really uh, modular. I like that. So yeah, that is my um, that's my basic idea for uh, this week. I'm already drifting on, but um, you'll uh, you'll find some new sounds. It's a it's a cool trick and uh, some unique sounds as well. And that's the most important thing uh, I think. So have fun with that. See you next week.